So, hello everybody. Good to see you back. Me and the crow is really happy to see you today again. We sure are happy to see you. We all glad you come back again. From the way we tell these stale jokes, we thought we'd scare some people off. Today's video is going to be about a emergency flashlight you can make real quick without a lot of junk, a lot of time, because you ain't got time during an emergency. This is called an apocalypse flashlight. Yep, sure is. What a name. But it's good and catchy. People will learn how to make something good, something they actually need, and something you can use during an emergency real fast. Keep it handy in a good place you can reach it. Apocalypse flashlight. You mean like Mad Max? We gotta go out and look for guys everywhere? Steal guys from guy stations that are closed down? And steal guys from other people? Drive around in a big funky looking tanker truck? All that? Jeez, Crow, don't have to go that far with it. Gas. It'll be pretty good if you run a gas flashlight. <laughs> so if you want to learn how to make you a good apocalypse flashlight, then watch this video and find out how. Simple, easy, quick. Get all the stuff you need. Hey, it's an apocalypse. Steal every damn thing you need. Then go to jail. Wait till the apocalypse and then steal. Don't steal before it. Get ready. Watch the video and prepare yourself a good flashlight type deal and we'll see you next time on this channel goodbye did i say goodbye i was tricking y'all i ain't said the joke yet pay attention you know how this channel works here's the joke i found a genie bottle rubbed it and the genie popped out genie said i'll genie said i'll give you your wishes that was what i was gonna say i'll give you your wishes but everything you wish for, your mother-in-law will get double. And the man says, okay, beat me half to death. <laughs> beat, her, beat him half to death. Man, that sounds like a man that knows, knows his business, knows what to do. Man, them mother-in-laws, I tell you, man, they're really getting your way. Mess up your love life, your romance, everything you can mess up. When you gotta get rid of them, blah, 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 blah. well, I better stop right there. Probably a lot of mother in laws watching this video. Yeah. Anyway, back to you, monkey. Take us home. Hey, yeah, you're right, crow. I almost called him monkey. I'm the damn monkey. So, see you next time on this channel. Hope you enjoyed the joke and really hope you enjoy the video. And if you learned something, put it in the comments list. Next time on this glorious channel. Bye. I'm going to show you how to make an emergency flashlight. Anybody can do it. Household items. No reason not to. Very simple things. Just keep this stuff around in an emergency and you'll be set. Here's what you will need. LED. These little pin type, not the strips. Button cell battery. Styrofoam that you can cut into a circle. 3 4 PVC pipe. 3 4 adapter. This is, you don't really need this, you can still use this, but I want to make mine like that. And this I got off of a paint can. This is also something you don't need, but I'm using it because it's the, what I want to do to make it look a little bit better. So, first off, this is your LED. This one's blue. You can buy them transparent, green, red, whatever color you want. This is what the other end looks like. The short side is the negative. The long side is the positive. The battery 
any size button sail will do. This is just a large one. The negative side is the smooth side with that funky rim going around it. The positive side is the side with the writing on it. That's the side that the long one will touch. To make the light is very simple. Take a three-fourth PVC pipe. Take the three-fourth connector. You don't need to glue these keeping it simple. Put it on there and it will have enough stick to hold itself. Take this piece, if you've got one, you don't need it. If you're putting one of these in there, if you can't find one, go to a paint store, pop the top off of a paint can. These usually cover the sprayer and you don't gotta buy the paint to steal one of these off the top of the can. Stick it down in here, this three four, and then look at that. Get wedges down in there, nice and snug and perfect. Now this is an emergency light, so the bulb will extend out here some. It's not going to be hid down in there, and there's not going to be no plastic or glass covering it. Quick, easy, simple. An apocalypse light, and all fancy. You take this piece here, styrofoam. Cut it in half, but leave enough space so the battery can get in there. Stick one piece in this side and one piece in this side. And I cut it a little bit at an angle, not perfect, because during hard times, I want to prove that during hard times, you don't need to carry around tape measures and rulers, you just get the job done. Take the battery. Stick it in between here and you make it snug enough so it's wedged in there. Now these two pieces right here are for the back. You take one of these, make sure it's snug and you shove it down in there so you can plop some of these lights down in there, these LEDs, and then put the other one. Don't stick it all the way in because you don't want to gouge it out. You'll wreck the styrofoam so your light can't escape. When you're ready to use it, you got five or six lights in here and maybe some extra bulbs too. I've got your bulb in here and a couple extra batteries too. And you don't stick this all the way in. You want to be able to get a hold of it and pull it out. Kind of twist it when you're getting it out and putting it in. Then it falls out. And once it falls out, put your plug back in there. Take your light, and remember the negative side is easy to see because it has this rim, so you put the small one on it. See if you reverse it, see if you reverse it, it won't work. So just turn it around, stick this on there, and push these legs into the styrofoam just a tiny bit to help hold it. Bam, you got a light. And is it sticking out? So what? If you don't like it sticking out, get another piece of pipe one inch and then you can stick it on the end of this and make it removable so or you can take this small piece of styrofoam plug it up in here take this off stick it down in there and then put it back on i don't want that see that's extra stuff you have to do in an emergency and i don't want that extra stuff you have to do in an emergency i want it fast simple and easy i don't want to take this out put this in put this back on like a puzzle simple Easy, good. Emergency light. This thing will shine for a week how long. This will also work on a flat 9 volt battery that will drain it faster. These button cell batteries last longer. So, what's the best battery to use? So the best battery to use is a button cell battery. Even though you can use this on a 9 volt, you're going to have a hell of a time hooking it up. This is just plop it on, you're ready. So, if you like this fast, quick emergency for light, make one. Keep some of these bulbs handy, keep some of this handy, stuff them up in here, have this thing where you can get to it easy. You got me. After you're done using it, what are you gonna After do? After you're finished using it, take the bulb back off, take the end off, throw your bulb back in there, put the end back on, and you're done. Also, you can get a plug that goes on the end of this to block this, and I don't have one. 
see that's what I'm talking about during an emergency you may not have some of this stuff so I don't got one of these so I didn't go buy one I just used styrofoam and like this you don't need this white thing in plastic I used, I used it because I got it but you can stick the styrofoam up in the, on the end of this piece and put the battery in here but it's better if it has an end on it at least a bigger end so your hand can slide down on it and the good part about these things it floats the water won't hurt that battery or that light. Just clean it off and it'll work fine. So, so fast food emergency light. Hope you liked it. I will go demonstrate it now in the dark. I will see you in just a second. Okay, I've got a feeling the electricity is going to go off any minute. Oh, it's off already. What do I do? Well, you get your flashlight. The battery is already in it. Don't take your battery out of the end, leave it in there. I can't even see you. So the only thing that you can put in, the only thing you need to put in is the light. I always leave this battery stuck in the end. Don't take it out and put it in here when you're not using it. It's not going to hurt it to be stuck in here. So all you do, turn it this way so you won't lose all your bulbs. Pop it out, snag your bulb, turn it back up, put your thing back in, and you don't, and if it's, you don't need to see it. Put it one way or the other, so it works like that, so you know you got it right. And now the lights are off, and there you go. A flashlight. Now, like I said, this one is blue. You can buy transparent, red, any color you want, but that one just happens to be blue. Can ordered. you? Okay. Can you double up the bulb in there? Uh, yes, you can double up the bulb in there. You can put two bulbs in here. If you okay, want. we'll try. Okay, I'll open that. You can also put not only one bulb. But, sprawl these out a little bit, but two bulbs. That was kind of. Or three bulbs, or four bulbs, just drain your battery faster. That's right. And there you go, two bulbs, and there you go. It's right there. Double the light. Right there. You can also put three. Let's turn the lights back on and take a look. Go over here. See? Go over here. To the bulb stash on this side. See, I have other stuff in there too. How about these resistors are very cheap. And now we will put a third bulb on this. And there you go. See, now you got three bulbs. Okay, assistant, let's give it a try. And there you have three bulbs. Right the face. And now look at those three bulbs shine beautifully. And if you've got a bunch of batteries and a bunch of bulbs in there, you're set. So if you like the video, let me put my glasses on. I'm more good looking. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, share. And there'll be more videos like this coming soon in my Apocalypse Collection. So I'll see you next time on the Klaus Crafts Reviews and Restore channel. Thanks for watching.